Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars, and game number three here. Uh, computer played Pawn to Queen 4, so I'll go with standard opening move, which is Knight to King Bishop 3. That's usually what's played nowadays for an opening, because it's uh, with Pawn to Queen 4 by White. That is a mistake. Not that I can do anything about it, but at the moment, but you don't want to do that. I'll just put him right back where he. Uh, was for now. Yeah, let's, let's give him a thrill. See what he does to try to protect it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So, let's put its queen there to try to deflect an attack in the center. I'm probably going to wind up losing a pawn doing what I'm about to do. But, we'll try it anyway. I'm going to put my knight here in the center of the board. Well, yeah, we'll go with the center of the board. Mm -hmm. I did not expect that. So, I gotta take a minute here to try to figure out what it's up to. It must have seen... I can only assume that I've seen the threat because it opened up its king side on me and well, I'm not going to retreat the knight and I'm not going to retreat the bishop. I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and take it because it appears to be giving me the bit the bishop and don't have anything to protect it right now. Worst I can do is uh, blow a piece, which means I would break even. Yeah, I saw the threat. There's no question of that. So... You see, that uh, king bishop pawn is vital pawn. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and check it. And it's screwed pretty badly at this point. Uh, I want additional firepower in the center of the board. 
Yeah, it's a tough call. Well, here's what we're going to do. Since I'm all running out for peace, we're going to go ahead and fork its queen and rook. And that rook is gone. And there's an old saying in chess, never pin thyself voluntarily. So I have the option of either moving my king or putting something in front of him. Maybe I shouldn't do this. But, well, we'll go ahead and put the queen there. Because I've already won enough material that I can afford to tr uh, trade down. And that's penalty I pay right there is that it shoves that blasted pawn at me and I can't do anything about it. I could take it, I suppose. I think we'll just do this. I started another game, but I forgot to start the blasted recorder. That's why I'm doing this one. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're just going to start trading everything. I mean, I'll even trade off a developed piece for an undeveloped piece just to get the crap off the board. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and castle queenside because I have that one pawn hanging over my neck. So we'll go ahead and castle queenside and get rid of that issue. Now it's consolidating its power there. And those pawns. <laughs> That's not good. So we'll go ahead and... See, everything I'm doing now is to trade pieces off. I am not concerned at this point with the difference between a bishop and a knight. That doesn't matter right now. So, if it plays knight takes bishop, I'm okay with that, which it did. Now it's protecting its uh, pawn. <coughs> I have pawns a target, but not an immediate target. I'm not too concerned with it at this point. So we'll go ahead and double up those rooks. And we'll go ahead and check its king. Beautiful. Remember, everything now is about trading things off. Once I get this last pawn, two of those pawns off, then I have passed pawns, and I just march to victory. 
Might not even have to do that much. Well, so it, well, I was trying to save its pawn, which isn't going to work. <laughs> And I am not concerned with that. Like I said, at this point, you don't worry about the difference between knight and a bishop. You just don't. So this one's pretty much over at this point. Frankly, I'm surprised this thing fell this easily. surprised at it. But, that's the way it goes sometimes. It's all for naught, because, uh, huh, not a lot you can do here. And I can just let it have the knight. So just for practice, instead of running that in and getting a queen. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to start hurting the king. This was... A good example for beginners of how to uh, herd a king. Use your king and your rook to gradually deny the opposing king a place to go. Except I screwed up. There you go. That's it. So this chess battle didn't last as long. Last time I got screwed, but I managed to get out of it with a draw.